2000 P Sacagawea dollar. Highly sought after speared eagle or wounded eagle die variety representative. Graded in mint state 67 by NGC. According to Ron Guth, the 2000 P wounded eagle Sacagawea dollar is so named because of a raised die flaw that cuts across the eagle's belly. A major die break through the eagle on the reverse. These are tough to locate. This specimen was sold for $875 at David Lawrence Coin Auctions. Number 3. 1943 P. Jefferson Nickel struck on a zinc-coated steel scent planchet. According to Stax Bowers, an originally preserved example, both sides exhibit ruddy pewter gray, pale gold and powder blue patina that is most vivid when observed with the aid of direct lighting. The strike is flush to the left border on both sides, the right peripheral devices mostly off the planchet, but the base of all four digits in the date discernible to support PCGS's 1943 attribution. This error 5 cent piece fetched a sum of $5,520. Number 2. 1965 Roosevelt dime struck on a silver planchet. Popular and rare transitional alloy error. Graded as AU58 by PCGS. A pleasing example of this elusive error, both sides are lightly toned in wisps of iridescent gold. Lustrous satin surfaces with a bold strike and plenty of satiny luster remaining. This desirable transitional error was struck in the Philadelphia Mint in either 1965 or early 1966, at a time with the facility was producing dimes in both the outgoing 90% silver composition and the incoming copper nickel clad composition. The former planchets were supposed to be reserved for 1,964 dated dies, but a few found their way into presses fitted with 1,965 dated dies, as here. This error dime ended up selling for $6,600. Number 1. An intriguing transitional error, 1977 D. Washington quarter struck on a silver-clad planchet. Graded as AU55 by NGC. Simply put, this is one of the most significant mint errors that we have offered in recent sales. Whereas the 1977 D. Washington quarter is a copper nickel clad issue, this piece was erroneously struck on a silver clad planchet used for the sum of the San Francisco Mint's bicentennial issues of 1976. A pleasing choice AU, both sides exhibit pale silver toning to sharply struck, near fully lustrous surfaces. It was sold for $9,000. That's all folks. Make sure to smash thumbs up and subscribe buttons before you watch another video on YouTube. Have a good one.